Yeah, wow. It looks, it looks fantastic. Let me just try. Mm. It's very good. Mm. You see? Very soft. I guess most of us like brioche. This type of bread is very popular, very common in Switzerland or in France. Well, during this confinement period, most of us work from home instead. And we encourage ourselves to be as productive as we were working from the office. So you may find it's quite challenging and therefore we need the work-life balance. I tell you what, in my free time I like cooking and today I prepared brioche de java and I want to share my experience with you in making brioche de java so that you know and you are tempted to give it a try next time. Now I'm going to show you the ingredients and the process of making it. Okay? Stay tuned! Okay guys, so let me show you the ingredients of brioche de java so that you can make brioche de java at your own kitchen. First ingredient is flour. I use one kilogram of flour. You can get flour anywhere in the supermarket. And the second ingredient is this one, sugar, 200 grams of sugar. And the third ingredient is two teaspoons of salt. The fourth ingredient is uh, eggs. The fifth ingredient is the yeast. I use 42 grams of yeast. And the sixth ingredient is the milk. I use 450 milliliters of milk, warm milk. And then I'm gonna use uh, this, the seventh ingredient is the uh, butter. So this butter is about 100 uh, grams of butter, okay? So what to do now is that you mix the sugar, yeah, and then you put these two teaspoons of salt, right? And so you you mix the sugar and the salt into the floor. Mix it very mix it very well until they are all mixed. Um, you make a hole and then you put this egg here. Yeah. If you have the machine, it will save you time a lot. But I don't have the machine, so I use it manually. Okay, make sure your hands are clean. So you use your hand to mix the flour with the, with the ingredient. Okay. I already put the yeast inside this warm milk and I waited for five minutes. So now I can use this milk to blend to mix this floor, to make the dough. You pour it slowly. Voila. Then you mix it like this.
So you take 100 gram of uh, butter like this, okay? So the hot water as you see here is ready and I will put the dough on top of this cooking pan. Well, the reason why I, I use hot water to heat uh, the, the dough is that because the temperature inside my kitchen is not warm enough. So um, I use this uh, hot water to make the dough inflates faster so once the dough inflates I mean the size when the size is doubled then I can continue the process okay while we are waiting for the dough is ready so we can scatter it around the floor on the table let's open this wrap you see the size of double. So it spins one hour. That's really nice. So the next step is that you use this baking pan, right? And then you put some oil so that the brioche de java will not stick to the uh, baking pan when it's cooked. So wrap like this. Voila. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that I use this chocolate as a filling so that uh, it has, you know, chocolate taste when the brioche de java is cooked. The chocolate bar is quite hard. Oh, but I have the power to break them all. Napkin to cover, voila, and then we will leave it for another 45 to 60 minutes. Okay. Good, huh? Now I will close this like this, and then I will leave it for 45 to 60 minutes. After waiting for 60 minutes, the last step is you see, you will use the butter and wipe the top of the bread that is ready to be baked before putting into the oven. I'm going to show you this is the oven that I'm using. So I put it 180 degree and this has to be both sides 
what I meant per side is like this. So the heat uh, will be coming from both sides, upper level and uh, lower level. Okay. So both sides will be cooked. Um, and how long does it take to be? Um, how long does it take uh, to cook in the oven? Well, it takes about twenty uh, to twenty-five minutes. The first twenty minutes will be uh, both side has to be, uh, you know, uh, cooked, and then the last five minutes you just switch. The oven only on for the top level uh, or switch off the oven and then leave it because uh, the heat will remain cooked this brioche de java okay and they are soon to, ready to be back. it is very beautiful my friend see Now let me show you how I uh, get this off this uh, baking uh, box or baking pan. Now it's done. Oh how perfect! Wow! Oh. Oh wow, looks so beautiful guys, look. Guys, making brioche is not too difficult because now you know how to prepare it, don't you? I hope that you enjoyed this presentation and if you so, please click subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon too. And by the way, if you still have questions about how to prepare this brioche, if you have comments or if you have feedbacks, please write them down below in the comment sections. Thanks for watching and I'm Didi Le Javani. See you again next time. Ciao. Oh yeah, by the way, let me show you how it looks, the inside. Audio. Uh, Wow! Can you see? Audio hub. Audio hub. Yeah! Wow! It looks, it looks fantastic. Let me just try. Mm. Audio hub. Audio hub. It's very good. Mm. You see? Very soft. Audio hub, audio hub. Mm. Let me show you. It's still very hot. Mm -hmm. See? Audio hub, oh. audio hub. Oh, there's a chocolate inside. Mm. So good. Audio hub, audio hub. Mmm. The chocolate. Oh my god. Delicious. Audio hub, mm. audio hub. Sweet chocolate. Wow. Look. Mmm. Audio hub. So good. Hmm. 
I'm so happy. Mm.